No, we'll take that. <laughs> if nothing else, that put a smile on my face. So, hello and welcome to the vlog. It's going to be a special one. We're loading in to the Avenue Museum in Yaitza. More of why later. So 29th of November is the day when people from the former Yugoslavia remember the founding of Yugoslavia. It's the anniversary of the signing um, in that building over there of the agreement to form the Republic. Tomorrow is the nearest Saturday, um, it's the 25th tomorrow and it will be celebrated the 74th anniversary here in Yonitsa and uh, we're playing as part of that and that's what this vlog is going to be all about. So here's a question for any English viewers out there. Can you think of any songs in popular culture that celebrate great British politicians or indeed the monarchy? I could only come up with one. Sex Pistols, God Save the Queen. I don't think it was exactly complimentary. So Rowan and I have spent the last couple of weeks learning or relearning in some cases songs about the late great Marshal Tito of Yugoslavia. I guess it just got me thinking about the whole cultural difference. Like in Britain we just wouldn't be singing those songs, or well, I've never sung them, celebrating a great politician or national leader. almost four o'clock in the afternoon we've just let ourselves in and it's time to rig up on the wall there and I'll try and get better shots of this tomorrow when there's more lights on it says long live our allies the USSR England and America and uh, we've got Churchill up on the wall there we've got Stalin here we've got Roosevelt there we've got Karl Marx up there so we've been in the country Bosnia and Herzegovina nine years now we know there are differences of opinion on Yugoslavia, on Tito, um, but living in Yaitza, this is something that for some people um, is still important here. You're kind of celebrating a country that doesn't exist anymore, but you are in the birthplace of a country that did exist, that did shape a massive part of the culture of this part of the world. <laughs> which is Nation Day here in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Just thought I'd say hello to give a bit of context to probably the mad British that's in the fire. Anyway, I've got some traditional coffee. Oh, 
Now the question is, the guy who the guy who stood up first to talk. Yeah. Who was it? Do you remember who he was? I think he was like the president of the Bosnia Herzegovina, like. Tito thing or something. Anti-fascist yeah, association. That, yeah. Okay. That. And what did he say about you? He said that he heard that the conductor of the choir was English and like if the English had come to Yaitza then there was hope for Yaitza and if there was hope for Yaitza there was hope for Bosnia Herzegovina, I think, something like that. Well that's kind of what I understood, <laughs> so let's say that's what he said. <laughs> we had a good day today, I think. It was fun to be part of. It was interesting, um, but I think the thing of the guy standing up there going, well, if the English had come to Yaitse, there's hope for Yaitse, and there's hope for Bosnia and Herzegovina, we'll take that. If nothing else, that put a smile on my face. Um, and, you know, we're standing under the side here that says, long live our allies, the Russians, the English and the Americans. And uh, if we're allies in something good happening here in Yaitse and in Bosnia and Herzegovina, then that's good enough for me. So I think on that happy note, we might as well end the vlog here. We'll film loads, we'll try and fit it all in. So thanks very much for watching. Do give us a big thumbs up for bringing hope to Yaitza and by default Bosnia and Herzegovina. And remember that together we do a venture. And we'll see you next time.